Hey, good afternoon. Uh, Blind Alvin Iron Works again. This time, uh, a World War II uh, reenactment. Um, lots of things uh, going on here at the minute. And uh, up ours too is the uh, is a battle uh, reenactment. So we'll be uh, yeah, we'll be uh, looking forward to that. Right, catch you in a bit and uh, enjoy the show. It's a lot of equipment to wear, isn't it? demonstration time I think our group, we're probably the other end of the spectrum, being the German equivalent of the British Home Guard, the Volkssturm. Now the Volkssturm was only raised from October 1944 onwards, when Germany, shall we say, was in rather desperate straits, being attacked obviously from east and west, and the Nazi regime decided to call upon the services of quite literally anyone who could pull a trigger. So, as uh, should we say, men of a certain age, in their 40s and 50s, even in their 60s, were called up and formed elements of the Home Guard. And the Home Guard, the Volkssturm, then fought in the various battles during the last months of the Second World War, uh, with varying degrees of success. Uh, when we were confronting Western Allies, we tended to very surrender. Uh, we were confronting the Soviets, have no option but to do the best that we could. Now as a result of being formed at the very end of the Second World War, the weaponry that the Volkssturm got was, uh, shall we say, of great variety. And uh, you've seen some of the most advanced weapons being used by the Volkssturm Jäger. Uh, we 
sadly, you don't always get the same level of advanced arm. So I'm going to take the bicycle. My colleague here, is armed with a trusty Russian Moisten the Gas rifle. Um, now, the Germans captured probably billions of these in the early part of the invasion of Russia, so they had plentiful supply of the rifles, sadly not quite so plentiful supply of the ammunition to go with them. And you read a lot of accounts of the Bolshevik soldier receiving, whether it's a Soviet rifle or a French rifle or Italian rifle and five rounds of ammunition. Hopefully it's the right calibre, but not always. So the Volkssturm had a poverty of arms. Now the other thing I've said about it is because it's civilian clothing. Uh, the Volkssturm was quite often called up literally as the enemy arrived at the door and therefore many of the Volkssturm went to war, albeit briefly, in their civilian clothes bearing a handsome armband and uh, that was to denote that they were combatants and thus were to be treated according to the Geneva Convention as combatants. Uh, While the British and the Brit British Americans and French tended to respect that, sadly the Soviets had not signed the Geneva Convention and had even been captured by the Soviets. Um, I can guarantee you that the best uh, place for both would be a ditch. Next to me on the left here though, we have a far better equipped member of the Volkssturm. You'll notice that he is wearing standard German infantry kit from the end of the Second World War. Fairly well equipped with all the basic equipment, trenching tool, etc. He's got his ammunition pouches, but the most important thing for him, like the member of the country day you saw sort of demonstrating, he's got a K98. This is an early war K98 and therefore ammunition would not have been such an issue. Sadly, the Volkssturm, less than half were lucky enough to receive a K-98. The rest of them had to make do with this very wide selection of captured weapons. Fire mission, three rounds, HC! Okay, we haven't got long to go until the uh, battle kicks off, uh, so they're all loading up and uh, getting ready. So um, I was just waiting for that.
Actually, take on the Germans who are attacking the village. And they're taking the, they're taking the Germans oh, no. prison at the top by the look of it. Yes, he's got his hands above his head. It looks like they're going to be taken down in a few moments as prisons of war. Okay, uh, they're just uh, parking away now, but uh, yeah, fantastic, uh, fantastic day, and uh, well done to all the, uh, well done to all the people for this song. Right, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.